This hairstyle did not work for me in school. I don't know why I thought it was going to today. I look like a convict. Okay, to be fair, it's been a while since I left school. I was a leaver when I was 18 in 2009, but when I see makeup tutorials on YouTube for back to school makeup looks, I can't believe how much makeup people can get away with at school. I don't know whether I went to like some kind of prison. I must have gone to some kind of military style school because up until the age of about 15, if you were seen wearing the slightest scrap of like obvious looking makeup, like eyeshadow, or lipstick or anything like that, you would get sent straight to the office to go and get a makeup wipe to scrub your face clean. So with all that in mind, I thought I would have a little go at making a makeup look designed for girls who go to a pretty strict school where you can't usually get away with wearing very much makeup. It's a very light coverage foundation, there's just enough concealer to hide anything you might be feeling a little bit self-conscious about, and just a couple of other bits to make you feel a bit more confident in what you look like when you go to school without wearing so much makeup that you might end up in detention. Even if you still don't think you could get away with doing the whole look for school, you might be able to take just a couple of bits of it um, that will help you feel a little bit more confident in your school day. So this is my kind of strict school suitable makeup look. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. If you did... Oh hey! So I hope this video is in the teeny weeniest little bit helpful for any of you guys out there. Um, and let's go! Woo! School! For a really effortless and lightweight base, I am going to use the new L'Oreal Nude Magique foundation. It's quite low coverage, but just enough to be able to kind of even out your skin tone, give you a kind of lightly airbrushed look. And it's also really easy to blend through with your fingers too, which means it's perfect for when you're getting ready in a rush in the morning. I think the most important thing with foundation for school is making sure that your colour is right and that it's blended through really well. Because if there's any kind of giveaway streaks or lines, um, then your teacher is going to spot it straight away and probably tell you to take it off. I've chosen the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer because it's great for brightening up the skin and one of the things that you really want to hide at school is how tired you probably are. And because we went for a really lightweight foundation, it means that you can use pretty much as much concealer as you want because it won't go cakey. Just make sure that it's blended really well. And I'm just going to put an extra blob on my nose because I'm a bit like Rudolph and I always have a super red nose. It's so annoying. <laughs> Rather than using a contour or a bronzing powder to define your face a bit, that can be quite obvious. Um, so instead I'm going to focus on highlighting, which is a much softer and prettier look. I'm just going to pop that on the tops of my cheekbones and a little bit through my brow bone as well. This will help to give you a kind of polished effect on your skin without having to pile on loads of high coverage foundation. Got to tame those eyebrows next, so I'm just going to brush them through and then fill them in with my HD Brow Kit. Just make sure they don't look too drawn on because teachers will spot them from a mile off and you will have to wipe them off and that is never a good look. I'm using a powder rather than a pencil for a softer finish and to make sure they don't look too arched and defined because that will give the game away. To add a little bit of colour into my complexion, I'm going to use a cream blush. This one's from Max Factor, and rather than go for a pink colour, which would look pretty but will be quite obvious, I'm going to go for a more ready toned blusher so that it looks like a more natural flush. And I'm just going to apply that with my finger to make sure that I don't put too much on and make it super obvious. If you do find that you've gone a little bit overboard with the blush, um, just kind of blend it through a little bit with your foundation brush and it should soften the colour a little bit. So we perfected the base with a light coverage and a tiny little bit of colour, so now we're going to try and make the eyes pop a little bit without being too obvious. So I'm going to use an angled brush to run a really fine line of black eyeshadow right next to my eyelashes. I'm not going to wing it out, I'm not going to thicken it or make it dramatic in any way. It's just to press the colour very closely to my eyelashes and make them appear thicker. 
then to thicken them a little bit more I'm going to take my black pencil eyeliner and just line my tight line as well. eyelashes I'm gonna say definitely curl your lashes because that means you're not putting any makeup on but you're making them look a little bit nicer but if you're feeling a bit braver you could go in with a mascara too and try not to get it all over your face like I did but I'm just gonna use this one from 17 which is one of my favorite mascaras because it doesn't smudge which is gonna be one of the giant giveaways if you've got smudged mascara all over your face after PE and stuff like that so one like this which isn't gonna end up all over your face would be perfect Once you've done your mascara, my super top tip for getting away with eye makeup is going across it all with a cotton pad just to tidy up any kind of rough smudged edges because any slight smudge that your teacher notices is going to give the game away and we do not want that. For the final step on my eyes, I'm just going to line my bottom waterline with this nude coloured eyeliner to make my eyes appear a little bit wider without being obvious. Also, just as a little side note, I'm going to say I probably wouldn't put any mascara on my bottom lashes because they're much more obvious when you've kind of mascara them up than your top lashes. As a finishing touch for the eyes, I'm just going to run a very small amount of kind of shimmery, very pale pink, almost white eyeshadow in the inner corners just to open my eyes up a little bit more. Just make sure that the colour is really soft looking and blended through. The key word here is subtle, guys. Finally, I'm just going to powder my face because school can get kind of sweaty, but I'm going to use a duo fibre brush to make sure I don't pick up too much product, and I'm just going to sweep it very lightly all over my face. For the lips, I'd suggest a clear lip balm to play it safe, but for a tiny bit of colour, you could try the Maybelline Baby Lips, which are really subtle and just kind of a sheer wash of colour. Or if you're feeling a little bit braver, you could go for a full cover lipstick. Um, I like ones which are kind of a nudie pink, your lips but better kind of colour. This is one of my favourite drugstore ones, it's 17's Beehive. And that is the finished makeup look that I would suggest for strict schools. If you do try this look, then definitely drop me a tweet and let me know whether you end up in detention or not, because that could be a bit awkward. And good luck with fooling your teachers. <laughs> Check out my fake school uniform.